guys, I'm here today and I want to show you guys something really cool and something that I've been doing for a while. And this is a, this is going to be about how to make your lips appear bigger. Now, if you see my lips here, this guy kind of goes down and I kind of lose him somewhere here. So I don't like that and I like to make my top lip look at least somewhat the same size as my bottom lip so here we go this is what I do now I get now what I do is I do work with three pencils a darker a medium and a light but they're all in the nude family um, you don't have to do that do what works for you but this is just how I do it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my lip my bottom lip but I'm gonna go right here Okay, and I'm using my darkest pencil. And I'm gonna take it up. And I'm gonna curve it in there. And then I'm gonna take it up. Now what do I what I do here at the bottom is I just get my pencil and I just rest it on the bottom of my lip and I just run it across. Okay, now if you can see what I got going on there, it kind of comes down. I'm just going to clean that up a bit. Now where I like to line is I like to line right where my lips meld or morph into my face. like that okay now we're gonna do the upper lip now I do have a very pronounced Cupid's bow and I know everybody loves it and it's great and everybody wants one but I hate it I hate my Cupid's bow so I like to make my Cupid's bow disappear and this will make my lips look more fuller now what do I what I do is I go to my Cupid's bow and I make my two mountains Okay, I got my two mountains here. Right above the part where they meet, I'm gonna connect them, but not in the original way. I'm gonna go right above that and just kinda round them, round out that, that point. Like that. Now, if your lips are shaped differently, you know, you, you would have to do it according to your cupid's bow, but this is just how I like to do it. And now when I go around, I'm going to go a bit above. Um, the only way for me to share this with you guys is for you guys to actually see how I do it. I don't follow my lips because if I follow my lips, I'll end up going down. And I don't want to go down. I want to go up and be happy. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to the tip of my cupid's bow and small round type strokes and I'm just feathering him out now do you see how I did that do you see how now my lips are more rounded and they don't they don't hide as much there see and you want to do it in kind of a natural tone to your lips because if you apply product or lip gloss or lipstick or whatever you're going to apply it looks like your lip now I'm going to do this again over here and I do tend to bring this one out a little bit more because my lip kind of my skin folds in and I lose my lip so I'm going to bring that guy out a little bit more I guess what I'm going to do now is I'm going to darken up the bottom.
Okay. So now we got our shape going. Can you guys see? That is my darkest shade. I'm gonna go in with my second darkest shade and I'm gonna go in the inner parts of my lips. Now when I get down here, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna bring it in from here and just blend it there. And just make like this shape, whoop, like that. And uh, I'm gonna blend them a little bit right here. And now we're gonna do the same for the top. We're gonna go in from the corners and come up to right about here, right before you hit your Cupid's bow. and just take it up in there. You see how that's doing that? And like that. Now this is all open. Okay. Now we're gonna go with the lighter shade, the lightest lip liner that I have, and I'm gonna go into those areas that are have no lip liner on them. And this is gonna replace the color of my natural lip color, and it's really not far from my natural lip color, but because I primed my lips and, you know, I applied a, uh, a lip balm, so, eh, you know, it kind of gets washed out. You don't have to do this part. I just like to do it because I don't like, I don't like thick formula uh, lipsticks or lip glosses. I like everything to be kind of sheer. I like me to come through. So I get this pencil and I pretend that this is me. So see? Even without anything on, you could see that. You could see the definition and hey, you got some big lips. So, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my color on, but what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna put my color here. And here, down at the bottom. right on top of that natural color that we used. Okay. And I'm gonna add some gloss to my lips. And I love this because, especially when you're doing an ombre lip, you can kind of work it to blend everything together. And that's something that I like. I like to go from here and bring it out. And you can go back in one more time with your darkest shade.
and there you go and that is how I like to wear my lip color you guys see okay so I'm out um see you guys all later and have a good one bye so yeah, that is all I have to say about that. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Please remember to comment, rate, subscribe.